Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a very, very requested makeup tutorial. I think ever since sort of summer, I've been asked so many times to do this and it sort of hasn't changed since then. It's been the same for a very long time now. I'm sort of setting my ways and this is my ways. I am not a makeup artist at all. It's just the way I like to do my makeup and hopefully you guys will enjoy. First of all, for my little makeup bag, it's missing the L, so it just says Uzinda. First of all, I'm going to use the Skin Food Weleda, Weleda, I don't know what it's called. To be honest, I've used this twice now. I saw Chloe uses it and it was so weird. I went over and Millie used it as well and I was like, oh my God, that is so funny. I have just bought it as well. But I think lots of people use this. It's supposed to be really good. And to be fair, like it was good when I've used it. I was like, quite surprised at how like thick it is. But yeah, I used this as a base. So I just, I'm just going to blow that all in as that first step. During summer and before when I didn't actually have this, I just used the Ordinary, you know the Ordinary products, just their face moisturiser, which was also really good, but it's completely different to this. This is like thick, like dewy, if you want your makeup to be that like dewy. To be fair, you probably could do matte as well, but this just reminds me of like proper dewy makeup. Right, so now that is all done, you can like really, really see that my face is so shiny and so moisturised. I am going to then go on to primer. Oh, and another thing quickly before I go on to primer is I also love using this Beauty Flash Balm. I'm not gonna use it today because I've used that skin food and it's like, I don't feel like I need anything else. I mean, I actually could probably use a little bit of it. So it's the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. I literally swore by this. I usually put on my moisturiser and then I put this on. I saw somewhere that you need to tap it. It just smells so good. It's literally amazing. And I don't really think many people use it, but honestly, I've used it for so long now and it's just so nice. So that is all done. So next up is primer. And this is the Saint Laurent YSL Touche Clap Blur Primer. I actually just bought this online because it's literally got gold in it. And I actually really like it. It's really like blurring, like it proper hides your pores. Like it feels really weird, like you put it onto your face. It's just like smooth, like you can't feel any of your pores. So now I have completely primed and done my face. It feels very like moisturized, shiny. It always, always feels like this before I actually put on my foundation just because I'm such a big believer in if your skin is like moisturized and all nice underneath, then the foundation will go on like a dream and I feel like it always does. For foundation, I feel like this is the burning question. I get a lot of questions asking what foundation I use and I swear by this foundation. It's the Dior Forever Skin Glow. It's literally incredible. I've actually got a really funny story. I was actually on the way to Mallorca and I didn't have a foundation and um, I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? My, my Too Faced Born This Way didn't come in time and I was with my chaperone and I was like, okay, I just need to get any foundation. I'd never even heard of this foundation, never heard anyone speak about it. It was literally just taking a massive chance. I only bought this foundation in a certain shade and I couldn't even try and the shade because of coronavirus. And the shape is perfect. The foundation was amazing. And ever since, I feel like I'm on like my third or second bottle now, ever since I've just been obsessed. I put on my foundation, I literally just pump it onto my face. So, and I'm just going to, I mean with this foundation, it's like you don't actually need much. And for a foundation brush as well, I forgot to say. So this is actually quite funny. I've worked with this brand called Coco and Eve, which are literally an amazing brand. I think they're from Australia and they do like fake tan and stuff. Well, not just fake tan, they do lots of um, skincare products. But this brush is actually for their, um, I think it's their fake tan, it's for their fake tan to evenly, because I went to one of their events and they were like, oh, this brush is amazing to evenly distribute the fake tan, and I was like, I use this brush for my foundation, I got given it, and I think I'm on like my second brush now, I feel like it just distributes the foundation really nice. <laughs> 
after doing foundation, this might look a little bit orange, but in person it actually doesn't. I'm worried that it doesn't gum up. In fact, I haven't really like fake tanned or anything recently, and this is a really dark foundation. I forgot to say actually, the shade in my foundation is 4N, and it is quite tanned. So now on to concealer. Oh, actually, I just need to quickly wet my beauty blender. Hold on a minute. Sorry, guys, I had to quickly go wet my beauty blender. So I'm now on to concealer. I use a like different concealers for different reasons me just being extra you don't actually need to do that with concealers i've got oh by the way i've got like covers for my um sometimes i've got like covers on my makeup it's just because um we weren't allowed to have any branded things and i just haven't taken it off because i know you basically so for concealers i'm going to use so this is the tart shape tape and i put this under my eye it's quite a light one and i feel like that's why i've got such a dark foundation and it's okay because i feel like my concealer actually brightens the whole look up for anyone that's wondering that's in shade 22 and light neutral i'll put everything underneath as well and then for like on my chin my nose like all the highlighter parts i either swap between the nars radiant creamy concealer in medium one custard or the fenty one in 28 280 and i just put that on my chin my nose my up here, oh, hair, sorry. Up here. I saw this somewhere to put it here and here. That's like a reverse contour effect. So now I'm gonna use the same um, brush as my foundation for everywhere but under my eyes. There is actually quite a lot of product on my face right now, but that's just the way I like it. And I feel like when it's all done, it really doesn't look cakey at all. And then with my um, concealer, I feel like with like product placement is really important. So like I make sure I don't drag my concealer down. I'm not blending it down halfway down my face. I'm making it like up. I'm really making sure I like blend up. Okay, like I go all the way up here. And I just like making sure lid all the rest of the product on the beauty blender so that is one face down and then I'm just going to take the other eye so that is me all concealed well light conceal I actually go in with the dark concealer for my cream contour it's just the same one the same pro filter fenty beauty one but it's in the shade 450 this time it's just a darker shade for me i mean like you literally the tintiest bit of this if you start going crazy with this dark one or like any dark one for your complexion it literally be quite dangerous to be honest so be careful so then i'm just going to get the same foundation brush this this isn't even a foundation brush can you actually believe it but i just use it for absolutely everything it's amazing so i'm just going to sort of blend that all in And as well, when I'm blending in my cream um, bronzer, I make sure I'm not blending down. It's very much up. If you see there, there's not much. You can actually sort of see, actually, there's not much dark. It's literally, I'm going around in circles with this big brush. And I'm just sort of like blending it up a little bit. So it's sort of like a, it ends up to be quite like a U shape here. And so, so you see, I'm like, it's like circles. Going to blend, 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 and then I'm just gonna blend my nose. So I sort of go around the circles at the tip, and then I just go down on this side. So that is me all cream contoured up. So yeah, I like really like to do it. You like are you? I like bronzer basically. So. I'm going to use powder. I don't know whether this, like me doing this all in different steps, I don't know whether this step routine is actually like normal. Everyone's got their own order. So this is the Laura Mercier powder, translucent, shade translucent. And I'm just going in with this Fora brush. I remember I got this in America. It's the highlight brush, but I actually use it for highlight and powder, which 
probably isn't very good, but it's a really good brush. I should probably get two of them and then like mark one of them powder and mark one of them highlighter. But anyway, I just pat that underneath. Like I get, I get a little bit, I tap it, and then I've got like that much left and I just pat. I'm not like a massive powder gal. I am recently, before, I literally just powdered under my eyes and that was it. But I've started to realise I probably need a bit of powder. Like in some pictures I look quite like I need powder. So that's ever since. But before, never used to use powder. And I feel like whenever I get my makeup done and stuff, everyone uses loads of powder. And I'm like, right, I think I'm the only one who didn't actually use it. So anyway, where I'm putting this is I sort of like under my nose and like on my chin and around my mouth I usually that's the first place where my makeup usually goes so I make sure I powder there now and like sometimes on my forehead apart from that I don't powder on my nose or underneath here sometimes I do but I mean I use like the tipsiest bit of powder ever next up I'm going to get this brush which is amazing this brush for bronzer it's the Morphe E65 it's like such a big nice good quality bronzing brush basically I've had it for ages now and I'm just gonna go over like really really slightly over the cream one that I did obviously sometimes you don't actually need this it's more just to like set it honestly I use the tinsel bit otherwise it might look a bit like OTT and then obviously with this as well I just go over my nose I'm I don't really like contour my nose as such. I don't do it in like massive amounts, you know. So that is me all bronzed up. That's sort of what I do for bronzer. And then next up, I'm going to be doing blush. And I absolutely love blush. This is the Sephora powder brush. But I think it's a really good blush brush. I... I'm a bit of both, to be honest. I like peachy blushes um, as my like every day. Blush of Paradise, L'Oreal, but this wasn't always called Blush of Paradise. You guys might know this as Life's a Peach. So weird, I, I ordered a new one like before summer and it came and it was called Blush of Paradise. And I was like, what? This isn't Life's a Peach. It's still the same though, it still smells the same and it's, I don't know, maybe they've like repackaged it, but this is also amazing, this L'Oreal one. Or, I found this in my um, makeup drawer and I was like, oh my god, this is like Life's a Peach and it's probably more pigmented. I'm not sure whether it actually is. I felt like when I was putting on Life's a Peach or Blush of Paradise or whatever the hell this thing's called, I felt like I was having to use a lot of products and I feel like with this I don't actually use as much. I didn't say what this is. This is um, Living in the California. Living in the California dream. I think it's called California, you know the benefit one. So I'm just gonna use a little bit, tap it off because this is actually quite pigmented. So see the bronzer here? I go here. So I don't really go on my cheek, my like my apples of my cheek. I go I, I like to bring everything quite high up, but that is quite a lot of blush, but we're living for the blush. <laughs> See what I mean? So this, like, I hardly used any product and you can, like, proper see it, I feel like. Maybe it's just this one, because I did use, I've used, like, three of these Life's a Peach before this one, and they were absolutely fine. I don't know whether that was just a weird blush of paradise. I don't know what the hell's going on with L'Oreal, but. So anyway, next up is highlighter. So I use various highlighters. Today I've got one that I haven't used in a while. I love Becca Champagne Pop, but I couldn't find it. I think I bought the open that shade last time that's amazing for a highlighter i love all the becca highlighters but today we're using something a little bit different so i'm gonna use the wet and wild highlighting powder in precious petals and this needs like it needs a good clean or i just need to buy a new one because this is broken so anyway, I'm going back with the same brush as my powder, which is probably really weird. So I'm just gonna literally, so obviously bronzer, highlighter, bronzer here, high, um, blusher more up here, and then highlighter, I just put it like above that, you know? I bought this um, highlighter like so long ago, and I used it recently, and this why I'm using it today, because I loved it. I know Wet n Wild, the um, highlighters are really good. So as you can see, I put a little bit above my eyebrows there, there, a little bit on my chin. That's with the big brush. And then with the smaller little 
brush Lux 234 Lux Smoky Shader. I'll need to take the label off as well for this. Oh, Zoeva. So this is, I would not know that if I didn't take that off. So this is Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Shader. I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to, so this is also like a key to my that nose contouring. I put a little bit here. I am quite shiny. A little bit here. And I feel like that actually makes me look like my nose is smaller. I literally put a little bit there and that. And then I hurt a little bit on my cupid's bow. And that is my face makeup all done. And then just to finish it all off, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting to set it all into place. And then I've heard that you can't just let it sit. Well, you can, but apparently it's better if you like fan it. So that's what I'm doing. Next up is eyebrows. So with my eyebrows, I use the Refi products. I've been using these for some time now and they are so good. I've got all three of them. They're really good. Highly recommend. So I'm going to brush through. So I go in with this one. The the like greeny fun. Oh, I actually just love this. You know what? I remember when I absolutely loved the Anastasia Beverly Hills. When everyone used to use the dip brow pomade. What a TV. I don't know whether to bring you in. Would that be a good idea? You see what I'm doing. So this is all with this one. I feel like eyebrows for each person is very different. Everyone's got different eyebrows. Everyone's got like different things that suit each eyebrow. But this is how I do mine. They look a bit crazy right now, but I'm just gonna go back with the one with the spool, spoolie? I was gonna say spoolie on the at the red and I'm just going to sort of soften it up a little bit. Like so. And then just to finish off the brows, to sort of finish it all off and um, let this really mix come together, I'm just going to use the, the setting gel thing that comes with the set, which is literally insane. <laughs> like so i can see that you can see like a little bit of the white but that that does go and then i'm going just to i always 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 do this i get a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand and i use this little brush from real techniques it's just the detailer brush which is a really fine little orange one and i just dip that in like so and i go underneath be honest i feel like i actually can't do my eyebrows without doing this step to be fair the before without doing it doesn't actually look too bad and that is the brows Oh, done. Right, now on to eyes. I feel like I'll keep you zoomed in. So that is the brows. Really, really up close. And then I'm going to go in with this palette. I'm gonna keep you zoomed in just because it's easy for you guys to see my eyes. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. It's a really good palette. So, first of all, I'm going to get this little brush, which is the Medium Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to go in with the colour Swan, which is the lightest colour on the palette, just that one. And I'm going to just set everything with this. Sort of like start with a blank canvas. Like so. So, I use these brushes and I have no idea where they've come from i feel like ages ago i got sent brushes and i wish i knew the company this was literally like years ago i think but they're like this sort of color if anyone knows where these are from let me know so i'm going in with nude which is that one and maple which is that one 
and I'm just going to dab them both together, tap tap on the end, I like doing that, I don't know if that actually makes a difference, and then I'm just going to, in making sure I do the full eyelid, and I'm like going into the nose as well to join up that contour. And then I'm just going to go back in, see like how deep I want it. I just keep going until I think it's the right shade. Obviously like when I'm going out sometimes I go quite dark or whatever. And then that's sort of me for eyeshadow. I'm not a crazy eyeshadow person. I feel like that just suits my everyday vibe. And then sparkling, I'm going to go in with sparkling sand which is this, this shade here on the palette. I actually go in with my finger, I feel like this, you can see, see what I mean, you can see the eyeshadow so much more, the pigments rather on the finger. And then, obviously I showed you that eyeshadow brush, but I didn't know where it was from, but it's actually the same company, but it's like a more like straight one. It's actually perfect for under the eyes, and I'm just going in with the shade Maple, and I'm going to go with a little bit of Cocoa as well, just because I need, I like doing it under, literally, look, I just tap it, and that's it. And then, going in with that Zoeva brush, the 234 Lux Smoky um, shader that I used before and the Wet n Wild um, highlighter that I used before. I'm just gonna go use that in my inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with eyelashes. I used to always, always wear eyelash extensions and since summer I took them out and then I just haven't got them done again. And I'm actually getting quite used to like just having stick-ons and I actually quite like it. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which is incredible. And I'm just going to put that on, oh no. Don't you hate when that happens? Like you just have to wait. I actually, that is like the worst thing ever when that happens. I hate to be dramatic, but it actually is. Right, no one's gonna know. And after doing all of my mascara and then I'm gonna go in with eyelash stick-ons. I'm just zoomed you out the tinty bit there because that was quite zoomed in. This is still quite zoomed in there. I'm gonna go in with eyelashes. I usually use the tatty lashes but I really mix it up. These are just the pretty little thing X tatty lashes. I just looked in my massive box of eyelashes and I just picked these ones out. I've literally got so many eyelashes. I don't think it's normal. I'm gonna come and say hi to everyone Milo. Aren't you a big boy? Right, okay, enough of dogs. So, with eyelashes, I said the eyelashes and everything, and then I'm just gonna go in with eyelash glue. Any eyelash glue will do. I actually know what eyelash glue this is. I think this company sent me this eyelash glue ages ago. And this glue, just, I think I got sent it, is W7 Lash Adhesive. So, to put the eyelashes on, right. And I'm going to put the eyelash on. The only annoying thing, obviously, when I had um, eyelash extensions, like I mean, ones that last like whatever, four weeks, whatever, three weeks, it was so like less time consuming. I'd literally put my makeup on, like other than eyelashes, and that'd be it. And I feel like because I'm really not like used to putting on eyelash strips now, but I guess I sort of am, like more than when I first started in the summer. <laughs> So that is my face and eyes all done. Um, so with lips, I'm going to get my trusty bag, which is where all my lip stuff is always in. What am I going to use today? I literally use whatever I can find, but they're always like similar, really similar sort of shades. So I'm gonna use MAC Spice. Uh, and I'm just gonna go over. So 
So I've done my lip liner and then I'm going to go in with lipstick and I'm using MAC again and it's Honey Love. I just think really good with my lips. I do it all the time. This lip gloss, I'm sorry, bury me with this lip gloss. It's literally insane. I am probably on to about the 20th one and I wish I was exaggerating but I'm actually not. Like I'm obsessed with this lip gloss. So it's always in the shade Fussy. I do have a couple of the other shades but I do love Fussy. I do like the clearer one as well. And I uh, go along doing that as well. And like so, I have done my makeup. I am so happy that I've actually ended up filming this and you guys get to see my makeup finally my makeup tutorial i know obviously i'm no makeup artist at all but this is how i do it and this is how i did it all during summer as well just a little bit of close up and that is what i do and that's what i love doing as well i do this every single day to be fair I don't do my makeup every single day, but this is what I do when I do do my makeup and I've actually ended up doing it really fast. The same process, but I'm getting quicker on it because I seem to be doing it quite a lot recently. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Make sure to comment down below what you guys want me to film and show you on my YouTube channel and also make sure to like if you like the video and make sure to subscribe. And also put on your push notifications because I sometimes just randomly post without actually warning anyone. It's just a bit of a random thing. So anyway, make sure to do that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.